what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Got some bad news to bring y'all. Prodigy of Mob Deep is no longer with us. He died today as a result of complications from sickle cell anemia. His publicist said that the cause of death has yet to be determined. Now, this latest attack happened when he was performing with Ma Deep a few days ago. He had to be hospitalized. I want to send out my sincere condolences to his partner in rhyme, my man Havoc. Big shout out to all of his fans. Big shout out to New York. Big shout out to his family. My condolences. I'm really at a loss for words, so I'm gonna let Alex Gale, the executive editor of Complex Magazine, take it from here. No more talk. We're going to interrupt that interview to tell you that rapper Prodigy, who's a member of the new New York hip-hop duo Mob Deep, has died. The rapper's publicist said in a statement Tuesday that Prodigy was hospitalized a few days ago in Las Vegas. And according to complications caused by sickle cell anemia crisis is what the publicist is saying. He also said that Prodigy has battled sickle cell since birth and was in Las Vegas for a performance. The exact cause of death was not clear. Prodigy was born Albert Johnson in New York. He found success in the 90s with fellow rap, rapper Havoc as part of the duo Mob Deep. Their hits included Quiet Storm with Little Kim, Shook Ones, and Hey Love. Prodigy was 42 years old. Alex Gale, the executive editor of Complex Magazine, joins me now by phone from New York City. Alex, what can you tell us about Prodigy? Uh, Prodigy was definitely a legend in hip-hop. There's really no two ways about it. He did not have the huge commercial success um, that you know some of his peers did, but he still was you know extremely, uh, definitely made a huge impact in, in uh, you know in hip-hop and definitely on the charts too. He just ne never had that full pop crossover moment. But um, I mean, one thing to really know about him is just how New York to his core. He was uh, he was really part of the wave of rappers in the early and mid '90s who kind of brought attention back to New York after um, Death Row and Dr. Dre and Snoop really brought G Funk and gangster rap and West Coast gangster rap. They they, they brought the you know hip hop over to the West and then Mob Deep along with Nas, Wu Tang and, and uh, some other folks really brought the attention back to New York and, and really uh, helped make a, cla a new classic New York sound that dominated for a while and that we still kind of all think of uh, back nostalgically as like the golden era of New York rap. Why do you think he was so popular, Alex? Um, I mean, I think part of that is that well, he was, he really, he was very authentic. That's one thing to know. I mean, he was from Queensbridge, largest housing project uh, in, in America, um, really, you know, was... Uh, uh, just had a very he had a way of delivering his lines with like uh, super like as if ice was in his veins would be the best way to say it. Um, I mean, just very deadpan, saying these you know sometimes extremely you know like violent things in the way that he would say them. You 100% believed him. Um, you know, and and just a lot of longevity. I mean, you know, he st they started. Uh, in the 90s with them, you know, uh, on Loud Records, and they later ended up signing with 50 Cent uh, G-Unit Records uh, in the 2000s. Um, and also he beefed with almost every great rapper that there is. That's a really uh, notable thing about him. It's almost amazing when you think back on everyone he clashed with. I mean, he clashed with Tupac, um, Jay-Z, Nas, um, there was a, a, a you know that hit a fist fight with Wu Tang at one point. Uh, I mean, so many. Basically, if you run down like your top ten favorite rappers, he probably had beef with like about eight of them, and lived to tell the tale, and you know, and continued his career, which is pretty amazing. You talk about the beef that he's had. You know, there's always been with Tupac and Biggie Smalls this East Coast West Coast hip hop rivalry. Was the same? Was this the case with him as well? I mean, he was definitely a part of that. There was. Um, you know, there was a, a famous beef with Snoop Dogg in particular, um, where Snoop Dogg shot a video in in New York, um, where it was him and Dog Pound, um, basically kind of 
acting like King Kong in New York would be the best way to say it, where there's, you know, they're walking through New York and smashing against buildings and all this stuff. Um, and, you know, this was in the height of the, of the, of the war, uh, of the, you know, East Coast, West Coast war. So it was a very bold move of them to come to New York and do that. And no one really responded until, you know, they didn't mention anyone in particular, Snoop uh, and Dog Pound. And then Mob Deep and uh, Capone and Noriega kind of took it on themselves to basically respond on behalf of New York. And they did a song called L.A. L.A. Uh, responding to them, and that kind of set a lot of things off. And then, you know, things with, with Tupac got a little ugly at one point. I mean, actually, Tupac um, actually shouted out Prodigy, like, you know, made, made fun of Prodigy's uh, sickle cell anemia at one point, which uh, is what ended up leading to Prodigy's death. I mean, one thing that's very also notable about Prodigy, he was very, very open about his sickness from early on. Um, he has a biography in which he wrote about you know having many sickle cell attacks and spending a lot of time of a lot of uh, his childhood in the hospital, um, and you know the fact that he sort of prevailed through that and had this amazing really long career uh, and absolutely became one of the all-time great all-time greats in hip hop is amazing. Mm. You're joining us now. Rapper Prodigy who makes up one half of the group Mob Deep has died at the age of 42. Alex Gale, thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me, Rita. What the talking about. Yeah. Order in Texas.